Hey everyone, in my previous video I showed you how I sort of used randomization to place a bunch of sprites into the scene, but I've kind of moved away from that so I can give the scene a bit more of a handcrafted feel as I sort of work out all the things that I need to work out for this prototype of the game. Um, so I'm manually placing in a bunch of grass and a bunch of trees. That said, I still actually am using randomization a little bit in this version. Uh, the smaller grass sprites that you can see, those are in randomized positions, so those will be different every time. But the trees and the sort of larger bush-like grass clumps will be in the same position every time. So another thing you can see as I play the scene is that when the uh, player character goes behind the trees, the trees become transparent. And I'll show you how I did that once we take a look at some of the scripting. So taking a look at the tree, what I did to do the transparency effect was add an area 2D to the scene and then a collision polygon as a child of the area 2D. And I'm actually using tweens to modulate the alpha channel. Um, I'm probably going to do a more full tutorial on this. I'm just going to demonstrate how it works currently though. So the next update I made was to the player. And all I did was add a camera 2D that follows the player around as you're moving through the scene. So one of my main ideas for this game is that it takes place in a really lush sort of wooded or forest environment. Um, and I'm thinking about adding either a day and night cycle or just some sort of cave or dark sections to the game. And I really wanted to see what it would look like to add a fireplace. Um, in the middle of the forest so you could see how the light and the shadows actually work as you're moving through a darkened environment. So once I had my fire sprite, uh, the next thing I did was add a light source to the fire sprite, um, as well as some particles that looked like smoke coming up off the fire. And to add shadows to the scene, I added a light occluder to the player sprite um, so that I could see what it looked like when the player moved around the campfire in the darkened woods. So I kind of went through some trial and error with getting the lights to look as close to what I think they should look like as possible, um, but I don't think I was able to do it. Uh, one of the things I realized you could do is actually add a new canvas material and then make the sprite unshaded. In that way, the uh, shadows don't fall onto the sprite itself as you're moving around the fire. But uh, I think there's still some things I need to work out and I'm not quite sure if this is possible in Godot. Um, the sort of allowing the sprite to be modulated by other lights in the scene, but at the same time not self-shade. Uh, I'm going to have to look into that and see what I can find. That about does it for this video. Thank you all for watching. If anyone has any solution for that light occluder self-shadowing thing that I demonstrated, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, but otherwise, if you liked it, please leave a like and maybe consider subscribing. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks.